follow the path of more than 50 different brands, and they all lead to one stop. Newell Brands has a portfolio with scores of familiar names, but can this collection of icons make the stock greater than the sum of its parts? Every now and then, a company you absolutely adore will surprise you by doing even better than you'd imagine. That's how I feel about Newell Brands, NWL, the company created by the merger of the old Newell rubber made with Jordan. You might know them as maker of Elmer's Glue, Sharpie, Papermade, Graco, Rubbermaid, not to mention all those Jordan brands, Mr. Coffee, Oster, Crock-Pot, Kitchen Gear, and got Coleman, Jostens, Yankee Kittle. I've got all this stuff in my, in my house. Now, I've been a big fan of this deal ever since it was announced last year, which is why we own Newell Brands for my travel trust. You can follow along by joining ActionAlertsPlus.com club. But even I didn't expect the company to blow away numbers like it did this morning, not with retail this soft. Newell just reported a fabulous five-cent earnings beat off a 29-cent basis, higher than anticipated revenue, very strong full-year guidance, do a big boost in the dividend. And that's why it rocketed up $5.54, 12%, biggest gain in the S&P. So let's take a close look with Mike Polk. He's the CEO of Newell Brands. Find out more about the quarter and where it's headed. Mr. Polk, welcome back to Mad Money. Hey, good to see you, Mike. Have a seat. Good to see you. All right, how did you do it? You outran retail yet. You did much better than the category. You simply just hit the ball out of the park. What is it taking to do that? Look, I'm really proud of the team. We delivered strong, competitive results in a tough environment mm -hmm. and in the midst of a tremendous amount of change as we integrate the two companies. Right. So the team did the work and they did a terrific job. I think the thing that stands out is the competitive level of growth yes. while yes. also having all these synergies flow to margin and strong cash flow delivery. So we've got the whole mix working for us at this moment. Now, I am seeing innovations. Now, of course, we got the Yankee Candle, my wife. Maybe this is my Mother's Day present. She won't watch the show, so I'll have <laughs> it. Sure but you were doing innovation. This, uh, talk about slime. Now, slime is something that if, you're, if you have kids, you know this is the hottest thing in the stores right now. Yeah, exactly. So this is, um, this is an example of slime. Okay. Um, what we found out about the middle of last year, our brand management team started hearing uh, people talk about slime online. So we have a, we're actively uh, out there socially listening. Okay. We're on Facebook, we're in, we follow Pinterest, we look at what people are talking about. And our brand managers identified this unbelievable trend with making slime. And uh, one of the ingredients in, in slime, which is this ooey gooey right, right. Um, you know, creation, is Elmer's glue. Every, right. um, every serving of slime uses a bottle of Elmer's <laughs> glue. And so this was a huge opportunity. Right. We didn't create it, but it was out there in the, in the social space, and the teams went after it. We've had a tremendous run uh, providing Elmer's right. as an ingredient in, this, uh, in these, these fabulous recipes. For and so if you were out there and you were listening, you'd see colored slime, right. you'd see uh, sparkle slime, you'd see clear slime. It's, it's, it's just, everywhere. It's, it's extraordinary. Your ball jars. I, I can and it's a hugely important part of my life. And I can never get the things darn open. I'm, I'm clicking, the, you know, ba banging a knife on the top, whatever. This is the kind of innovation that, of, of a product that's, what, how many years old? Oh, it's a, it's a very, very old brand, but a beautiful brand. Yeah. And even more relevant today is people, this is what people focus on yep. farm-to-table um, providing. But the beauty in that innovation is this is a very simple uh, insight that it's difficult to, 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 to open the jar. Right. So the spiral creates the ease of opening. All of these innovations have something very specific um, associated with them that provide um, oftentimes a claimable functional benefit so that we right. can talk about that to consumers. You know, in the personalization, obviously, yeah. you said for the holiday season coming up, get it in, right? Because this is something that you can do, uh, you know, maybe even for Father's Day. I don't know whether you can get it well, done look, that Well, you know, quickly. what we're doing here is we, you know, we, we had this online as a, as a proposition. Right. We are now in the midst of bringing and putting kiosks in every one of our Brilliant. Yankee Candle stores. Brilliant. So we will drive traffic to the store to get for, so consumers can create their personalized uh, candle for their special moments. By Mother's Day, 100% of our 600 stores in the U.S. will have these oh, kiosks fabulous. in place. Now, this is an example of what, this is my generation. This is what my kids buy. So you've got an ear to the, what the millennials are buying. Absolutely. We just acquired Woodwick at the beginning of this oh, yeah. year, and they are perfect complements to each other, the Yankee brand and the Woodwick brand. We're moving Woodwick into the Yankee Candle stores as well so that we have a multi-brand portfolio there. And so there's, there's real excitement in the candle business. Mm -hmm. This whole 
type of home uh, decor is really powerful and consumers are willing to pay for the sensory experience mm -hmm. that they provide. Now, one of the things I was worried about was that Jordan bought Jostens. I was trying to figure out how you could take that through beyond just high school rings. Here you go. Well, we've got, you know, our pro business, which has always, always existed, right. is a really important aspect. It gives us credibility with students. And so we were able to secure the World Series championship rings right. uh, with the Cubs. And I know it's not a Phillies ring, but it should give you some. One day. Yeah, one it should, day. should give you some uh, aspirational uh, I, sense I, oh, of what's I'm possible. Not, I would wear it every work day. hard to secure the Phillies ring when they win it. Thank you. Thank you. Now, uh, the one of the reasons also that you, uh, and you're too modest, you outran was that this international has been great for you. Yeah, there are really three things that are contributing to our growth and, and our, our relative um, strength uh, versus our other, our other peers. One is international results. We had broad-based growth in all four regions of, uh, of the world. We 12% growth, nearly 12% growth in Latin America, over 5% growth in Europe, over 4% growth in Asia. And so those things work for us. The other thing is we've just got a fabulous e-commerce business. Right, right. E-commerce represents 10% of our global revenue. That's two, two and a half times as big as any other fast-moving consumer goods company, and it's growing strong double digits. Right. And we've made a big commitment to e-commerce. Both legacy companies did, and we're doubling down now. We've created an enterprise-wide global e-commerce division. We have about 250 people in this group globally. Mm -hmm. By the end of this year, we expect to have almost 500 people wow. in the division. Okay. Now, this is very important. Now, it's very clear from the notes, from the presentations, and from your conference call that you really are just getting started, though. There's oh, just a lot of new days. stuff in the we, pipe. We, we just turned one. Right. We're a new company. New yeah. Brands is a new company. We just had our first birthday. And we've achieved a lot. The people in the organization have achieved a lot in our first year together. We've got this business restructured. Right. We've um, restructured the portfolio as well. We're almost done with that work. Right. And um, the business is starting to get into a rhythm of operating and putting up reasonably good uh, results, results that we can be uh, proud of. And but still, it's early days, right, as you And there's say. still a lot of stuff made here, right? Well, we have, you know, we have 101 factories around the world, 56 of them are in the U.S. We have 15,000 manufacturing jobs in the U.S. Um, we, we, you know, it's very important to us. Um, you know, the Elmer's initiative uh, behind uh, Glue, and uh, slime, we've, we've more than doubled the capacity in our Statesville, North Carolina factory oh, to be fabulous. able to support that. And so we've got, um, we've got a blend of, of, um, of, a, of, a, of a manufacturing right. footprint. We have to support demand around the world. Right. We want your factories close to the point of demand. So we've got a broad-based footprint, but 56 factories, 15,000 manufacturing jobs uh, here in this country. Well, look, congratulations. You really put it together. I know that I, I was so, I mean, the targets of the world, the warmer. No, you have outrun everyone with innovation and because you have a fabulous team. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, That's Michael Polk, the CEO of Newell Brands. Guys, this one's not looking back because it's going to be the fastest grower in the entire category. They have money's back in the break. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.